according to according to my friend right here, he Jesus could not go to the Father with his flesh and blood, but he could only go to the Father when his body was transformed into a heavenly body when he was taken up forty days after. So did Jesus go to heaven with a non glorified transformed body the first time he went to heaven? Because according to Luke or according to John, Jesus went to heaven one the first time and then he came back on earth and appeared to the disciples. So if according to you he only went to heaven after the forty days he put on earth with his glorified body what body did he have when he resurrected from the dead? Hello friends, welcome to another video, welcome back, this is Open World TV. Today I'm going to start by saying, um, I want to apologize to somebody. Um, I made a video about Vlad Sabstruck and someone responded and I misread that person's quote. And that, my apologies for that, nonetheless, I still see that that person's understanding is flawed. Now, between him and God, that's between him and God. And I'm not saying he is wrong, but from my understanding of the Bible, I disagree with, with what he was saying. And I'm going to show you why I disagree with it. But if it is your first time, take a moment and hit the subscribe button below and let's get active. So, he said, and the first thing he said was, Firstly, people consist of three parts, body, spirit, and soul. And that's the first thing that I disagree with. Because the Bible says clearly in Genesis, Genesis chapter 2, verse number 7, The Lord formed men out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and men became a living soul. This is the definition of what a soul is. Soul equals body plus breath of life, or body plus spirit equals soul. Men became a living soul. Bible didn't say now man has a soul. Bible said man became a living soul. So if you become something, you are that thing. Men became a living soul. So that's the first reason why I disagreed. That's from the definition of what a soul actually is. Next, let's move on to the next thing he said. He said the spirit and soul stay together as the soul houses the spirit and they are both immortal, they cannot die. Jesus' flesh and blood was buried in the tomb for three days, not his spirit because it is of God. Jesus does not have a soul because he, while he was alive, was God in human form. His spirit went to paradise along with the soul uh, uh, with the soul and the spirit of the criminal that believe in him. After three days, Jesus returned to his body on the tomb because his flesh and blood could not enter into paradise. That is so much um, misinformation right here, I cannot believe it. Number two, he said the soul cannot die. Soul and spirit. Let's see what the, the wisest man on earth said about that part. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. First, we're going to the book of Ecclesiastes. There are some truths to what he just said, but the majority of it is just a, lot, a bunch of lies to me. Chapter 9, Bible says, verse number 5, he says, For the living, now, I, I'm, we can read the whole thing. I'm just reading the most important part for me. Bible, he says, death comes to good and bad people, right? And he goes on to say, as you read the whole thing, he says, here, verse number 5, which I'm not taking out of context, he says, For the living know they, that they shall die, but the dead know what? They know not anything. Right? The dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward. Memory is forgotten. How do you know they are dead? Well, let's go to chapter 12. It's right here. Verse number 7. When you die, I want you to read the whole thing again. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But read the, read, read the whole thing. It says that then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Remember, after Adam and his sin, the Bible said that dust you are, and unto dust you shall return. Well, the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God 
who gave it because it is God's spirit. It is not ours. It is God's breath. It is not ours. We don't own the breath. But the dust or the body or the soul is us. That is us. And that, it goes to the ground. Now, that's number two. Let's see what else he said. Um, I'm going to say something else, actually. In the, in the first comment that he gave, if I'm not mistaken, he mentioned something about um, the body, as if you have another body in heaven. Okay, I'm going to put this into the screen so you guys can see it when I'm, when I'm reading. He said, why did Jesus say Lazarus is asleep? Because Lazarus' earthly body was asleep in the tomb. Why did Jesus call Lazarus from the tomb, not from heaven? Well, it's because Jesus called Lazarus' soul. Remember that. He called Lazarus' soul and spirit out of his glorified eternal body back into his earthly body, resurrecting him. So, basically, he's basically saying that when you die, you have an eternal glorified body already in heaven for your soul. But we just found out in the definition of a soul is body plus spirit. And that we are the soul, not that we have a soul. Now, here's the problem with that. When Adam and Eve die, um, sinned, did they have a eternal body before and then they had an earthly body before? Or was it the same body that they had? One was immortal body. But once they sinned, that immortality was removed because now they were mortals. It's not that they had an immortal body in heaven and then now God gave them a new body. No, it was the same body that they had that was immortal. But once they sinned, it was transformed into a mortal body. Just to the parenthesis for that part. Let's move on. Then he said, he was talking about the soul doesn't die, right? That the soul does not die. The soul is immortal. Let's see if this is true. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, not Ecclesiastes, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. Let's see. Bible says what? In Ezekiel chapter, chapter 18. The title is, The soul who sins will die. Verse number 19. Yet say ye, why does not the Son bear the iniquity of the Father? When the Son has done that which is lawful, right and right, and has kept all my statutes, and has done them, and he shall surely live. The soul, verse number 20, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Actually, even before that, he mentioned that. You know what? Let me do a quick. Um, Jesus lyrics. Listen to this. Verse number verse number three. As I live, says the Lord, ye shall not have any more to use this power in, in, in trial. Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, and also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So who's who dies? We die. Who dies? We die. Now, let, 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 let's pause right here. We are the souls. According to Genesis chapter 2, when God made the body and breathed into his nostril, breath of life, we became a living soul. So we are the soul. We don't have a soul. We are. But now, let's see what else he said. He mentioned that Jesus doesn't have a soul because he, now on that part, I cannot tell you because I'm not God. Let's come with him. Next he said, his spirit went to paradise. Okay, we already know that, that the spirit goes back to God and the body goes back to the, to the dust. The criminal also was buried. His spirit didn't, his soul didn't go to heaven. His soul went straight to the, to the grave. Now, granted, Jesus said it, which could have been, this case could have been 
a, an exception to the rule. But the rule is, when you die, you go to the grave. When you die, you don't go straight to heaven, you go to the grave. Actually, you know what? Hold that, hold that thought. Then he said, in verse nine, and then he said, um, the next thing he said was, after three days, Jesus' spirit returned to his flesh and blood body because his flesh and blood could not enter into paradise. He was transformed into heavenly body when he was taken up into heaven 40 days after he came back from the dead. So, the major issue is with that is, how could he had, listen to this, he said, he was transformed into his heavenly body when he was taken up into heaven 40 days after he came back from the dead. And he said before that, his flesh and blood could not enter into paradise. So, my problem with that is, when I read in the book of John, chapter 20, verse number 17, or verse number 15, Jesus, that's after Jesus' resurrection, right? Resurrection. Bible says this, but, verse number 11, but Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping as she wept. She stood, stooped down into the sepulchre and sees two angels in white sitting. And as you keep reading, in verse number 15, Bible says, no, verse number 14, Bible says, and when she had thus said, she turned her, herself back and saw Jesus standing and you know it was Jesus. Verse 15, Jesus said unto her, woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She supposed him, she supposing him to be the gardener, she said unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Then she said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is say, Master. Jesus said unto her, What? Verse 13. Do not touch me, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Go to my brethren and say unto them, I will send unto my father and your father to my God and to your God. Wait a minute. Did Jesus go to heaven before he went the second time after 40 days? The question for you, my friend. Did Jesus go to heaven after his ascension? Before he appeared to the disciple in the, in the room? Did he? So you mean to tell me when he went to heaven the first time, he, he he didn't have a gruff body. Do you mean to tell me when he went up to heaven the first time, according to John chapter 20, verse 17, when he went up to the first time, he didn't have a gruff body? You know what? Let's go next. Then he said, hold on. Then he said that, um, where is it? The, the last thing. Jesus' is flesh and blood body was buried in the tomb for two days, not his spirit. Spirit is immortal and proceeded unto paradise where he, as God, defeated death. But wait a minute. If you say that his flesh and blood body cannot enter into paradise, that is so much not the truth. Because in Mark chapter, no, not in Mark, in Luke chapter 24, let's look at this. What, what happened first? Did Jesus appear to the disciples first, or did he appear to Mark, to Mary Magdalene first? Let's look at this. Remember this. In Luke, we have here Jesus. Luke chapter, John chapter 20, verse 17, Jesus said to Mary, Do not touch me yet, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, because I am going to him right now. Then, in the same day, after he went to the Father, according to him, according to according to my friend right here, he Jesus could not go to the Father with his flesh and blood, but he could only go to the Father when his body was transformed into a heavenly body when he was taken up forty days after. So that means when he went to heaven is when he actually gave the commission, which is 40 days after his resurrection. So, did Jesus go to heaven with a non-glorified, transformed body the first time he went to heaven? 
Because according to Luke, or according to John, Jesus went to heaven one, the first time to present the first fruit. Yes, if you didn't know that. And then he came back on earth and appealed to the disciples. So, if according to you, if according to you, he only went to heaven after the 40 days he put on earth with his glorified body, what body did he have when he resurrected from the dead? And we know he went in there with flesh and blood. How we know that? Well, Luke 24 gives us even more. He said this, when Jesus went to the disciples, he said to them, verse 38, and he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Hand on me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones. That was after he went to heaven. He still had flesh and bones. And then, verse number 32, 42, he ate with them. Do spirit eat? I don't know. But what I do know, Jesus ate after he after his resurrection. He was in his glorified body. He ate. Therefore, when he died, he went to the grave. Breath of God, the breath of life goes back to God who gave it. Him, Jesus as a soul, he died. Three days later, God resurrected him. With a now when he was when he was resurrected, he had a transformed body. He went to heaven the first time because he told Mary, Don't touch me yet because I haven't gone to my father yet. He went to heaven with a group of body, which is still flesh and bones. Then he came back to talk to the disciples and he showed them his hands and his feet and his side. Remember Thomas? Doubting Thomas, and then he ate with them. He was still flesh and bones. So telling me that flesh and bones cannot go to heaven is a lie. When Jesus said about flesh and bones, he wasn't talking about physical flesh and bones. He was talking about the, the way people are living. When you are living according to the flesh, you have to, when you are, when you are baptized and you receive the Holy Spirit, you no longer walk after the flesh. But that doesn't mean you don't have flesh anymore. You still have flesh. So, what happened when what happened when, when you die? We answered, no, we don't have a body, spirit, soul. No, we are the soul. We we are the soul. The soul is body plus spirit. That's the soul. That's us. We are the soul. When you die, your body go back to go, you go back to where you came from, which is the the dust and the breath of life go back to God. When we are resurrected at Christ's second coming, guess what? We will have the same body, but glorified. It's not going to be a new body. And number three, we don't have a, a, a eternal body in heaven already. No, 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 no. We don't have that. We have the same body. Just like Adam and Eve, when they sinned, they didn't have a new body. They had the same body, but now transformed into a mortal body. The same way, when Christ comes, in, when Christ comes, in, when Christ comes again, this mortal body that we have will be transformed to an immortal, incorruptible body. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop right here. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and that notification bell as well as that like button. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, it was Super Nintendo TV. <laughs> I hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.